So number two, we also have a completely new version of iWork, iWork09 as well. And as you know, iWork is made up of Keynote, pages, and numbers. So first up, Keynote 09. It's some, what I'm working on and using in this presentation, so you know it's rock solid, <laughs> Keynote 09. Well, one of the things we focused on in Keynote 09 is giving you some really powerful animation tools that combined all together can help you make incredible professional presentations, but really easily. So what are those tools? First up, something we call Magic Move. Magic Move is a transition between slides where you set up your slides and, I'm, and, I, and, and Keynote does all the work to move your objects between the slides. So for example, let's say this is your first slide, you got a bunch of cards on it, and to make a second slide, you just move a bunch of the cards off and you take that queen of hearts and you make it bigger, you tilt it on an angle, you create a reflection, you set it up the way you want, and then you use Magic Move and Keynote will do the transition for you. So for example, it looks like this. Here's the first slide, and now the second slide. So that animation's done by Keynote. Here's a second example. <laughs> slide one, cards are all messed up. Slide two, we organized them and asked Keynote to do a magic move between them. It's really simple, really powerful. So that's the magic move. Second, object transitions. What, what you can do with object transitions, have a lot of objects on your slide and ask Keynote to move from this set to another set of objects with a bunch of powerful transitions. So for example, the first object transition that I'm gonna show is called object zoom. We're gonna zoom these objects from one slide to the next. And here's how it goes. Now if you look closely, those objects zoomed with a different rate of speed for the different objects and the second slide started to show up on the first slide before it was even done and off the screen. Something near impossible for us to do with techniques ourselves, but automatic now in Keynote. Here's another one, that's really powerful what I just explained with this perspective move. Check this out. So simple, beautiful, powerful transition. And now we're gonna move these objects off the screen with an object push up. Again, simple, powerful object transitions that you can combine with other techniques to make advanced presentations. And this last one, text transitions, are really great because the simplest thing, doing a transition between text objects can be beautiful and really powerful. I really love the first example the team came up with. I like this one. It's called a swing transition. <laughs> I like that one. Read whatever you want into it. <laughs> Next, a shimmer. Energy, it's for you, Al. <laughs> And here, this is called an anagram. If you don't know what an anagram is, you will by watching this transition. There's an anagram transition. So great text transitions in, in addition to magic moves and object transitions, you put them all together in some really powerful tools to create your presentation in a way that people just won't believe how you did it. We also have animations on charts. The charting in Keynote is the best there's ever been in a presentation application. Beautiful charts with incredible textures on them. And these new chart animations bring in and bring out your charts in an incredible way. So first up, we're gonna do a crane move, bring in this graph, and it's got a beautiful metallic shine that's reflecting as it's moved into the slide. Here comes another one, a rotate. Now we've got etched metal, and this is a new cylinder shape that's in, in Keynote 09 that you can use on your charts. Here's a third one, a rotate and grow with a chart using new stone texture on, on the chart. And the last one, a zoom through the z-axis of a pie chart using the new beautiful wood textures as well. So we have incredible new chart animations to make your, your slides just beautiful. And in addition to all of this, of course, we have beautiful themes in Keynote, and now we have even more themes where you have these gorgeous setups like Kyoto. You just pick it, and all your slides have this beautiful look of the fonts and the graphics and the backgrounds. Here's showroom, brushed canvas, Venetian. So that's just some of the new themes you can use to make your presentation beautiful in Keynote 09. There's one more feature, it's something you get extra, but it's really cool. If you want a way to wirelessly control your presentation, we have the new Keynote Remote. So what's this? This is an application you run on your iPhone or iPod Touch. You set it up to talk wirelessly using Wi-Fi to your Mac, whatever your Mac you're running the presentation on, and if you have it set up 
In a vertical mode, it shows you your slide plus any speaker notes you want. You set it up horizontally and you see this slide and the next slide. And in either mode, you just flick it with your finger and that's how you advance or move backwards and forwards through your slides. You. The Keynote Remote is an application that will be sold in our application store for 99 cents. And as you see, we've already given it five star reviews, so I know it's a big hit. So that's the Keynote Remote. And those are some of the new features in the Keynote, new Keynote 09. Next up, Pages. So Pages 09, uh, last year we did a lot of work on Pages to make it not only great for uh, doing document designs, but also just a really great word processor. So we focused a lot more on that this year as well, making it even better for the things you want to write. Uh, first up, a feature called Full Screen View. Well, sometimes you're working on the next great American novel and you're staring at that blank piece of paper and you just can't get time to get started because you're distracted with your email and your stocks updating on your web page or people instant messaging you and you just want to stop and focus on your writing. So you click the new button up top for full screen view and then you start writing and you have the time to really focus on what you're doing because everything else disappears. And this is really powerful if you're using it with a design because you really want to focus on the design, but again, you've got a lot going on, you've got a lot of applications running, so you just go into full screen view, and I can really focus on what you're doing. Now the menus are still active up above, so I can move my mouse up to the top, and there's the menu. For example, go into two up mode on the pages and stare at the whole design of my big, beautiful cinema display. And the page sorter on the left is still there too. If I move my cursor to the left, it pops open, and I can pick what page I'm working on, get back to work. So that's the new full screen view in pages to really help you work on your writing. Second, this has been asked for by a lot of customers, great outlining built right into pages. So in pages 09, you can start working on your document in an outline view if you want. Type your outline, there's control of different levels of your outline, different font sizes, graphics in line with your outline, complete control of this. And like a good outliner, it's really powerful because you can reorganize your thoughts and your sections. And when you go back to your page view, it's all been organized according to your outline. They're completely connected and dynamic. So that's the new dynamic outline. <laughs> mail merge, there's some customers that do mail merge uh, with pages and they do it previously by uh, connecting to their address book. You can still do that, but now you can also connect to uh, tables and lists you set up uh, in numbers and the two work seamlessly together. Some of the products that our customers like to use a lot with pages, we've made it work easily together uh, with support built in for MathType and EndNote. MathType is used by a lot of engineers and scientists to create uh, formulas that they want to use in math that they want to put into their documents. And now we've built an integration between pages and MathType. And EndNote is used by, again, by scientists, engineers, people publishing uh, papers where, where they want really complicated bibliographies. And that support's built in too. So those work seamlessly together now. And of course, one of the great things about pages is beautiful templates so that you can create gorgeous documents, but really simply. So we have even more templates now for newsletters, beautiful new poster templates. You can create really fun flyers. We've got certificates, really great things to use in education. And business correspondence with envelopes and letters and business cards you can create. So those are just some of the templates in the new pages, and that's Pages 09. <laughs> and the third product in iWork 09, Numbers. Now last year, Numbers was its first, the first time we brought it out, version 1.0, and customers really liked it because finally it was a fun, easy to use spreadsheet done the Apple way. So this year we focused on really filling out all those features customers tell us they wanted added to make it even more powerful in the spreadsheet they can choose to use all the time. And that's what we've done. So for example, in Numbers 09, we've added table categories. A lot of the data you add into a spreadsheet is actually a table. For example, this might be a list of kids trying out for the Little League in your town. You've got a long table you've entered with all their names and their position, and someone asks you, well, how many catchers and pitchers do we have? We need to figure out how many teams we can make. 
oh, you need to reorganize your table. You didn't build it that way. Well, now you can pull down on a column, and there's a new categorized by this column choice. And you can reorganize your table by whatever column you want. So we'll categorize by the position column. We'll add a subtotal. And now you've automatically created a table based on that column 